the guidance that I'd love to do with you this morning, the practice that I'd like to do is kind of a, it's a feeling as well as a visualization that you get to play with. So uh, feel free if you haven't muted yourself to go ahead and mute yourself. And if you'd like to turn off your camera, you may as well. You don't have to. But I invite you to take a nice deep breath and just kind of shake off whatever is happening for you. And close your eyes. And I invite you to bring your hands to your heart. They can be overlapping. They can be one on top of the other. Whatever feels right to you. And feel, well, first think about a situation. It could be anything. It could be small or it could be more prominent in your world. That feels really black and white. Or maybe it feels like you were wronged and you feel very justified in being angry about it or something like that. Something that you can really solidify around. And again, it can be a small one. It doesn't have to be a massive one. But once you have that, feel the solidity of it. Where does that land in your body, that solidity? Does it have a color to you? And maybe in its solidity, it has a texture as well. Just acknowledge it. And now ask it, ask it if it has an age. You might be surprised that a number will just pop up in your brain. And it might be a really young you, or it might be a more recent you. Again, no judgment, just curiosity. And if you have an answer, which you may not, and that's fine, invite yourself. And if you do have another self that showed up at a different age, invite it to join you at a 30,000 foot view. So safely allowing yourself to be on a plane or floating up in air so that you can just really View that entire situation from a different place. And ask yourself, what if there was an and? Instead of the solidity of I need to be justified to feel this thing that I'm feeling. And. And what? And it's okay. And I can see the other side of that. And what would that look like? What would that 30,000 foot view look like from the perspective that there is another side to the solid situation that you are pulling up and remembering. And if you're able to see that other perspective, that other side of it, what would that change for you? Or what does it change for you? Does it change the feeling? Does it make that experience of solidity inside of you smaller? Or are you just bigger to hold it in a different space? Or perhaps it's got a different texture to it now, or it's shifting shapes or colors. 
how does it feel differently inside of you with this and a new perspective? And maybe if an age did show up for you, maybe that younger you is asking for something. So with all these different possibilities, I invite you to be curious about what does this do for you? How does this allow you to be a little differently with the situation or yourself? And if you'd like to, you can take a moment and write some of that down. Or maybe you just need to sit here with your eyes closed, feeling it and kind of exploring it for another minute. So I'll just be silent for a few seconds here while you write or sit with it. And then when you're ready, see if you can bring up the feeling of gratitude for that younger you, for the situation, for the new perspective, for the new feelings. Maybe you need to give yourself a hug for it. Maybe it's just a big smile on your face. Maybe it's something else completely different. There's no wrong answer here. They're only right. And then when you're ready, I invite you to gently open your eyes, fluttering them open. And maybe give yourself another squeeze or pressing in on your heart just thanking yourself for that experience. And then when you're ready, you can come on back and we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm.